let me show you how you can upload your file which is on your desktop to your gcloud bucket using command line so we'll work with google cloud sdk shell and if you need a tutorial on how to install and how to set your profile on this so let me know in the comment section below and i'll create a tutorial for you so to copy we use command uh, gsutil cp and then we give the source the source path and the destination path first of all we are going to give the source path so i've already created this command i'll just copy this this is my source and i'll copy it here and then space and then the destination so the destination is google storage and the name of the bucket and then i'll paste it uh, paste it here there we go it says it is copying file this might take few seconds I'll just pause the video and come back when it's done. And we're back. So it says operation completes. Let's check if this file that we uploaded is reflected in our bucket or not. Let me just refresh this. There we go. Here's the file we uploaded. Let's now try to upload a whole folder. So for that we'll use the same command gsutil copy and after cp we'll add a flag of r. So recursive that is. And then we'll again give the path of our folder we want to upload. I'll just copy it from here. And then the destination. So this is the path of my folder and then starting with gs is the destination so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it here again it says copying files and the operation is completed let's just check if this is again reflected in the bucket or not refresh bucket and here we go this was the folder i uploaded and yes this is reflected in the bucket so to see the list of objects in our bucket we'll give it a command of gsutil ls as in list and then the name of the bucket so then my name of the bucket is my tutorial demo bucket 2020 there we go so this is all the list of the bucket to make a bucket the command is gsutil make bucket mb minus c and regional minus c or flag c is for the class type so regional and then uh, l for location us central US Central 1 and then the bucket name we want to create so the new bucket name I'll give it as my tutorial demo Jan 2020 anything I hope this is a globally unique name It says it's creating. Let me just check. 
and show you so I'll go on browser and yes here's the bucket that I created using the command line let's go back and let's now set an object that is publicly accessible so fa for that I'll just go gsutil access control list ACL minus U all users minus uh, colon R and then the name of the bucket and the object so let's give a public access to the bucket we just created so I'm going to give the name of the bucket I just created in the previous step that is my tutorial demo Jan 2020 then just press enter so we've got Okay, so this at least should have two arguments. Uh, so something that I messed up in the command was gsutil acl minus u all user. Okay, so after acl ch, this should work. CH is basically to give permissions and here we go updated ACL on GS and then let me just check and yes my my tutorial demo gen 2020 is now public so that's all for today I hope this tutorial was helpful and I will mention all these commands in the description below so that you can use and work with the command line and console do practice otherwise you're not going to remember the commands or you're not going to remember how you can create and work with storage options so that's all for today thanks for watching and do let me know in the comment section below if this tutorial was helpful thanks